There's plenty of ways to play through a mission in Hitman 2, but you'll need to tread carefully if you want to achieve the Silent Assassin suit-only challenge for each chapter. So this guide will explain how to get this challenge in Hawk's Bay Nightcall, the first story mission in Hitman 2. As soon as you're able to move at the start of the mission, run towards the house and go through the open window to the pool room on the left. Don't worry about getting spotted by cameras for now, as you'll deal with the recordings later. Pick up the screwdriver beside the pool on the floor, then exit through the back window. Circle your way clockwise around the building until you reach the garage. Locate the garage signal box on the left, then use the screwdriver to short circuit the signal box, giving you access to the garage. Enter the garage and go through the door on the left. Go upstairs and enter the office room ahead. On the left side of the room, just before the exercise equipment, interact with this square painting on the wall to the left to reveal a hidden panic room. Enter the panic room and pick up the password dongle and lockpick off the desk to the left. Then interact with the camera recorder on the far left to destroy the recordings. This will take care of any video evidence of you from the cameras. Walk over to the gun rack on the wall and grab the fragmentation grenade on the right side. Exit the panic room the way you came and make sure to re set the painting to close the door to the panic room behind you. Exit the office, then turn left at the staircase and pass through a door leading to the balcony outside. Climb through the first window on the right to enter the bathroom. You can pick up the squeaky toy on the floor besides the tub to fulfill one of the discovery challenges as well. Pick the lock on the medicine cabinet on the right and grab the lethal poison pill jar. Pass through the dressing room ahead and exit through the door to return to the main part of the house. Head to the right along and continue past the office through the locked door at the end of the hall. Lock pick the door and head left towards the outdoor patio. As you reach the seating area, turn right to head up the staircase leading to the rooftop. Across from the stairs on the far side of the rooftop, locate the ventilation system for the panic room. Use the lethal poison bottle you collected earlier to poison and sabotage the panic room for when the target arrives. Head back inside and return to the office on the second floor. Interact with the computer to search through the intel, making sure to skip the cutscene to save time. Once the target arrives, prepare to go through the door on the right that you unlocked earlier. A few goons will be patrolling outside along the patio, so you'll have to wait for them to leave. In this next bit, we'll see all your planning put into motion as you make your escape. Just before exiting through the door, equip the frag grenade and toss it behind you in the hallway while the guard downstairs is talking. The timing of this is tricky, as the guard will enter the panic room instead if you throw the grenade too early, and will be killed by the poison instead of the target. You'll know if this worked in a few seconds. After tossing the grenade, exit through the door and climb over the railing on the right to drop down to the grass below. Sneak your way around the building towards the garage. You can crouch in the tall grass to remain concealed. Once you've cleared the house, simply sneak your way back into the boat that you arrived on. Move as quickly as possible between the patches of grass to stay hidden. There are a few guards standing near your boat that you'll have to deal with before you can escape. Before you reach your boat, turn and pop a shot at the gas can on the back of the pickup truck where several guards are standing around. This will create a distraction that will lure enemies away from your boat, allowing you to escape. Once the area is clear, quickly make your way to the boat and complete the mission. If you follow the instructions in this guide carefully, you should have been able to pull off the Silent Assassin suit only for Hawk's Bay mission in Hitman 2. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to check back every weekday for another Prima 365. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.